top 10 Eren Jaeger moments. At number 10, we have Eren's rampage to kill the female Titan after witnessing the death of the Levi squad. The theme of choice My is something God. That often in the narrative of Attack on Titan. You make the wrong choice, you pay the price. And this time, that price is the deaths of the Levi squad. When Eren arrived, it was too late, but the boy did his best to avenge his comrades. This was the very first Titan shifter fight we saw in the series, and Eren Jaeger gave his best. Each of his punches was an echo of rage. And can we take a moment to appreciate <laughs> his hatred-filled declaration Bro. to tear the female Titan piece by piece? But if Attack on Titan has taught us one lesson, it's that anger doesn't stop. Damn, bro, she don't want your hot ass breath in her face. Solve every problem. This is quite nice because normally when things go down, most anime characters switch their rage mode on before smashing their opponents. But things don't work the same way with Annie because you're fighting with a trained child soldier after all. Eren may have lost Damn. his fight, but we're adding it here because of his resolve to avenge his comrades and using his Titan form with little practice to scare the living hell out of the female Titan. But he don't ever add no moment of somebody losing and some shit ever again. It's supposed to be his best moments. we have Eren's resolve to kill the female Titan. Motivation comes in various forms, but in Attack on Titan, motivation hits you when you spurt out blood, remember your mother's death, and echo your hatred for the Titans. So things have gone down badly. Annie's revealed to be the female Titan, and she doesn't laugh and shrug it off. She actually laughs and then transforms into a Titan before going on a killing spree. As for Eren, he's left there buried under rocks, and our screaming protagonist loses his motivation for the first time. That's when Mikasa comes and gives the world is cruel motivational speech. Eren rises, gritting his teeth, and boom, you've got one angry titan coming your way. And let's admit he made a damn good entrance by literally punching Annie in the face. Make it. Damn. <laughs> coming up next is the first fight between Eren and Reiner. Oh yeah, yeah, this nigga with some WWE shit. I think this clip. The In Attack fuck? on Titan, friendships are the easiest to make and easiest to break. And that line will hit harder if you're a manga reader. So after the big reveals of Reiner and Bertholdt, Eren once again uses his rage mode to pick a one-on-one -on -one duel with the armored Titan. So here we have a Titan shifter trained by the entire Malian military, plus having years of control over his Titan versus a soldier who barely knew the abilities of his Titan. As expected, the first few moments don't go well, but- an <laughs> That nigga look like he dead already. And why every time he punts something, his arm fall off? Unlikely ally comes in the form of a flashback and for the first time in his life Eren uses his brain yes ladies and gentlemen it's a truly praiseworthy moment with a combination of martial arts Eren overpowers Reiner and our armored titan soon learns the lesson of underestimation so hats off to Eren for using his brain and making a massive leap in terms of character development bro, I'm surprised he can even move bro the nigga play like 10 foot Well, what do you know? Even though Eren wasn't an expert in the brains department back in the day, he knows the most badass way to do a power awakening and to reject a love confession. In the second season- Hold on, ain't that the shit that killed his mama bird? Season, we have another Eren gets kidnapped arc where the survey corps have to once again sacrifice a number of soldiers just to save him. But this time, Eren doesn't walk away crying and complaining. When his mother's killer appears right in front of him and kills another person that mattered in his life, he's on the verge of giving up. But once again, Mikasa to the rescue or Mikasa to the confession in this case the red scarf she holds seems to have more emotional weight than it shows because Eren rising up once again calls in the power of the founder okay he literally doesn't call it and it happened by coincidence but credit for Eren for taking revenge on his mother's killer and showing Reiner and Berthold the power of the coordinate his mama's killer was alive for that long bruh Damn, them shit's like little babies. <laughs> Number 
number six, we have the second fight between the female Titan and Eren. So continuing where I left off at number nine, we have Eren now running berserk inside the city while chasing the female Titan. It seems he's now arrived at the conclusion that Annie should be killed and there's no going back. Annie, on the other hand, still thinks actively, predicting the attack Titan's moves and attacking back, nearly killing Eren with three punches to the head. But here's where the magic happens. Remember how I said rage doesn't solve every problem? Well, it seems this time it does. The new Berserk Titan seems to take down Annie without any effort at all and not in a pretty way. If you never knew about Attack on Titan Shit. and watched this scene for the first time, you'll almost think Annie's the innocent one here. Cheers to Eren for showing what his true rage mode can achieve and let's ignore him for bragging about destroying the entire world, right? I mean, Bro, this nigga watering at the mouth. I mean, he only took down the female Titan because of his rage and got his ass kicked twice. How can this guy even think of destroying the world? Bro, you ain't got no fight mechanics. Nigga really spun the block just to tackle her and then grab her skull, bust that shit. Things changed a lot when the military realized they have a Titan on their side, but the hype soon died down when the so-called Titan punched his own face and fell down unconscious. Way to make a good first impression, Eren. All jokes and idealistic symbols aside, this was one of the moments Eren's Titan actually helped the military to keep a step forward in their fight against the Titans. With the colossal Titan once again destroying the wall and the Titans swarming in, the military was on the verge of collapse. Sure, you've got Levi flying around, killing a few Titans here and there, but even he can't stop an army of Titans at once. In other words, if Eren wasn't there, then humanity's war against Titans would have ended much sooner. Eren wasn't in his best form back then, but due to his actions, humanity secured their first victory against the Titans and peace was restored. Even though peace lasted only for a couple of days, it did matter a lot. <laughs> This is the errand that I want to see. I want to see the nigga swing them swords, bruh. Pause. Coming in next, we have Eren doing something without using his Titan form for the first time. That's him taking down the Colossal Titan. Okay, most of the credit here goes to Armin, but the one who gave the final blow matters as well. Berthold seemed to be the silent introvert who always looked up to Reiner, but when the spotlight shines on him, he doesn't forget to nuke a city and almost burn one of the main characters alive. But Armin's actions actually played to Eren's advantage. Appearing from the back, Eren attacked the nape of the Titan and pulls the Titan Shifter out. It was a great distraction, but a great distraction always comes with a much greater cost. This time, the cost was Armin, and even though it was a victory for Eren, it was a total loss for him as well. He gained a victory, but also learned a lesson, and this helped him keep another massive step in terms of maturity and character development. Next up, we have the second round of Eren and Reiner's fight during the Battle of Shiganshina. In the first two seasons, Eren might not have been the smartest guy around, but after the events of the Uprising arc, he relied more on his allies and also thought a lot before doing the punching. This difference was clearly visible during his second fight with Reiner. Although the first fight involved a lot of screams and curses, this time, Eren actually predicted his opponent's moves before using them against him. He also didn't use any bombastic dialogue and rage quotes during this round of the fight. And clearly, you can see the advantages of using one's brain during the fight. Reiner was soon Make overpowered, it. and the armored titan was no longer the strongest in the duel. Eren also relied on the power Damn. of his friends with the thunder Vicious. spears <laughs> rather than doing everything on his own. And the moral of the story is, if you use your head, life's going to be much easier. That boy's sending shockwaves. Number two is Eren's transformation during Willy Tiber's declaration of war. We might have predicted that Eren would what use his brain fuck? more in the upcoming arcs, but who in their wildest dreams thought Eren could achieve an IQ to combat like Yagami? If someone says you can't achieve tension by putting two people in a room and letting them talk, then they're clearly wrong. Eren establishes the setting for his transformation perfectly. He tells Falco to bring Reiner, threatens him with one bleeding hand to show the consequences of his transformation, and waits patiently until Tiber declares war so 
he can actually start counting the victims. Anyone who watched this scene wouldn't believe that this is the boy who tried to solve everything by screaming and punching. Eren's come a long way, and he's transformed from a boy filled with rage to a cold, calculating man. Needless to say, this was the scene where we realized Eren is no longer the hero of the story, but the monster the narrative created. He was done with pacifism and forward with bellicism. I'll gladly place my bets and confirm that your nigga went from wanting to get get back for his mama to wanting to destroy the humans. Is that what I'm hearing, bro? Reaction when Eren transformed was similar to the reaction of the crowd assembled. Damn. Nigga couldn't even transform all the way, bro. <laughs> and at number one, the best moment of Eren Jaeger so far, his fight with the Warhammer Titan. Well, words fail to explain this fight. Should I start with how Eren provoked the Titan to transform, or should I speak about the climax of the fight, or even how brutal the attack Titan looked after the massacre? If Eren used 60% of his brain during the second round with Reiner, then he clearly went above and beyond in his levels of IQ during his fight with the Warhammer. Even when his head was chopped off and his Titan was on the verge of collapse, Eren's expression what? was still cold and calculating, as if he was thinking of a way to take down the Titan rather than panicking and resorting to rage. Each of his moves were well thought out, and he was quick to figure out the mystery behind the Warhammer Titan. The Eren Jaeger you see now is way more brutal and calculating than the one you saw three seasons ago, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is peak character development. The Eren Jaeger you see here is the man who would become one of the greatest fictional characters of all time. Become a demon, bro. What the f Ha, 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 ha.